Today we're going to make apple shrub. Howdy folks, welcome to the channel. Now, apple shrub is pretty much like making any shrub, but I'm going to go over it just in case uh, you're new here. Now, first off, you want to find an apple with some flavor, something that isn't just sweet. Uh, a Red Delicious is not really a good apple. A Honey Crisp is just sweet. Uh, these are wine saps that I found at the farmer's market. They're pretty good, but of course you should use whatever you've got available. Now, I'm only doing two apples here because I'm just experimenting and you know, if you had a bumper crop of apples, you should just you know, use as many as you like. You do want to chop these up small. You could even shred them if you wanted to, but you want them nice and small so that the sugar can have a chance to get in there and do its work. So after chopping, these ended up being 300 grams, uh, which seemed like a pretty goodly amount. Uh, I decided to shoot for about 150 grams of sugar. I want to do about half. I think I ended up with 170, but honestly, probably could have handled a little bit more. Now, apples don't hold a ton of flavor generally, so what I decided to do is add a few spices just to uh, spice it up, I guess. Um, decided to put in cinnamon and a couple of coriander seeds. You could, of course, pick any spices that you like. Cloves might work, ginger, vanilla, anything that sounds like it would go good with an apple would probably be delicious. I just crushed these up and threw them in with the apples and sugar. I let it sit for a couple of days, and uh, once a couple of days have gone by, this is the result. Uh, the sugar sucks out all the juice from the apples, and you get a sweet, apple-y, cinnamony, cardamom syrup. And then you can just strain the fruit out. I got this grain bag that I use, but you can use whatever you like. I ended up actually straining this a little bit more and had a little some cinnamon bits in there. But ended up with eh, two, 225 milliliters, something like that. Decided to add about 80 milliliters of apple cider vinegar. The exact proportions aren't that critical, mm. but you just don't, I don't like it to be too vinegary. I like to have some of that fruit flavor coming through. So I try not to put in too much vinegar. If you like it more vinegary, you can always add more, but you can't really take it away. When you've got the shrub made, what you'll have is some leftover sweet apple bits with some cinnamon and cardamom and whatever spices. And the thing I like to do uh, is glug in some alcohol to soak in there for a couple of days. That'll give you a fun infusion as a bonus. Uh, this time I just did some cognac and uh, we're going to have some fun cinnamony apple cognac. We'll figure out what to do with that later, but uh, you know, it's delicious. I'll let mine sit for two days. Uh, you'll want to taste it to make sure it's, you know, doing what you want, tasting good. And then strain it out and bottle it up. about shrub is it makes a delicious soda so what we've got here is basically a delicious apple soda and for this drink I'm just gonna add about an ounce of rye uh, rye and apple just seem to go really well together and seems really good for the fall season that we're in some Angostura bitters really just boost up that cinnamony flavor and uh, make the drink a lot more punchy now this is sort of a simple drink and so there are various options you could do to sort of jazz it up. If you like it bitter, some Fernet Branca in there, maybe a quarter ounce would be pretty good. Uh, maybe a bar spoon of smoky scotch would uh, do, the, do, the, do the job. Or a uh, ginger liqueur, homemade of course. Uh, give it a little bit of that spiciness, a little extra sweetness, yum. I think for this drink though, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use the apple infused cognac that we made earlier. Um, 
should come out pretty good and, um, you know, have a little apple apple going on. <laughs> Portions intentionally vague. It's shrub and it's a homemade ingredient, so your shrub might come out different than mine. It might be sweeter, it might be more tart, uh, it might be more apple-y, so you want to be flexible when you're making this drink up. Also, you know, you need to balance it with whatever additive you put in. If it's the scotch or the fernet, you know, this will uh, tweak the, the balance. But let's just see how we, let's just see how we did. I mean, it's apple-y, it's refreshing, it's kind of fall, the, the rye comes in sort of later on at the end, and uh, soda water will make things seem sweeter when they're not that sweet. This is, this is pretty good. Certainly it could be tweaked, I mean, I wouldn't mind putting a little fernet in this next time, you know, explore my options. I mean, it's like a jazzed up whiskey and soda. I mean, who's gonna complain about that? All right, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and make shrub of any, any type. It's super fun and easy. And uh, let me know in the comments how it goes. All right, we'll see you next time.